Excuse me, do you know if there's a Popeye's chicken around here? What? While Popeye's is pretty much an open book, there might still be a few things left to discover. So here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Popeye's chicken. The confusing name. God, you're more clueless than Popeye. Depending on your generation, the name Popeye can conjure different images other than a crispy chicken sandwich and biscuits. Most people usually think that the fast food chain was named after Popeye the Sailor Man, a popular cartoon character created in the 1930s. However, the story goes that the chain was named after a character in The French Connection, a 1970s-era movie. It was Jimmy Popeye Doyle, a detective portrayed by actor Gene Hackman, that inspired the now iconic name. The first location, though, was initially called Chicken on the Run. Don't let that be a lesson to the lot of you! No chicken escapes! But as it was struggling, Copeland decided to rebrand the restaurant. He replaced his traditional chicken with a spicy version and changed the name to Popeyes. Here's another frequently asked question about the name. Why is it Popeyes without an apostrophe? Well, as Copeland would have you believe, it's only because when he was first starting out, he was too poor to afford one. And as time passed, it just became a thing. Secret Popeye's recipe? Why don't you be a good little loser and hand over the secret formula? From KFC's secret blend of herbs and spices to McDonald's Big Mac sauce, they've all got a little something that's just their own. For Popeye's, however, their secret recipe wasn't legally theirs for a very long time. It was only in 2014 that the chain ended up getting the rights to its famous mix of spices. The Spice Melange. Indeed, in the 1990s, Popeyes had to file for bankruptcy, leading to Copeland losing ownership of the restaurant, which forced an important reorganization of the company. He went from being the owner to a franchisee, but that didn't mean he lost control of the recipes. After his death, the recipes remained part of his estate, so Popeyes had to pay over $3.1 million a year in licensing fees and royalties in order to still be able to use Use the secret spice recipe. Finally, in 2014, it paid a whopping $43 million to fully buy back the rights. Now that you know all the trouble the chain went through, it's easier to understand why they would keep their tasty seasoning recipe under wraps. There's a Popeye's buffet. Oh, you can eat buffet? If you're a die-hard fan of Popeyes and you feel like you could eat the entire kitchen whenever you visit one, then you simply have to stop in Lafayette, Louisiana and head to the last all-you-can-eat Popeyes. Yes, you heard that right. There actually exists a place where you can eat all the Popeyes you want and all for the mere price of $9, aka cheaper than most combo meals. Shut up and take my money! Situated at 3500 Pinhook Road, it's the last remaining Popeye's Buffet after the only other two similar locations in Huntsville and Alabama closed down a couple of years ago. Open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, Popeye's Buffet welcomes hungry customers who can enjoy a Cajun-style feast with unlimited access to their favorite foods, from sides to chicken. The choices include spicy and mild fried chicken, butter milk biscuits, fries, red beans and rice, and mashed potatoes with gravy. Back in the day, there even used to be mac and cheese, spaghetti, and tacos available. While this paradise on earth was going strong for the last few years, you might not be able to go for long. Because of the tumultuous year we've had with the pandemic, buffet-style restaurants have not been doing too well. There's a high possibility that Popeye's Buffet will close its door for good. But for now, you still have a shot. The closure of the buffet would truly mark the end of a delicious era. Beyonce and Popeyes. Like Beyonce says, please, please stop cheating on me.
Who wouldn't dream of getting a lifetime supply of their favorite fast food? Whenever you have a craving, all you would need to do is pull out a little card and you would get all the nuggets, burgers, and fries you could want. While this might sound too good to be true, there is actually a very famous someone who has access to that kind of special treatment, and that's Queen Bee, Beyonce. Indeed, back in 2003, the superstar singer shared with Oprah and the rest of the world that the unconditional love she had for the fried chicken chain earned her a very special gift. Beyonce's love for Popeyes was not exactly a secret. She said at one point, everywhere she went, fans would buy her Popeyes. She even served buckets of Popeyes chicken at her wedding. If that's not a dedicated fan, then we don't know who is. The word quickly got around that the star was a fan of the restaurant, and eventually, Popeyes itself heard about it. As a response, the restaurant awarded Beyonce with a lifetime supply of Popeyes. This entitles her to as much Popeyes chicken as she wants, no matter the location. But as she shared this information on The Oprah Winfrey Show, she also admitted that she had been way too embarrassed to actually use her card. Maybe as years went by, she overcame her embarrassment, but one thing is for sure, a lifetime supply of Popeyes sounds like a dream come true for many chicken fans. Some pretty creative chicken tenders. To victory. It feels unfamiliar, but it tastes like chicken. There are many honorable mentions that are still on the menu today, including the blackened chicken tenders, but a few were only available for limited times. There were the chicken waffle tenders, in which the chicken was dipped in waffle batter and deep fried, the wicked chicken, thin and curly strips of battered chicken breast meat, and beer can chicken, an absolute fan favorite. This fried chicken was marinated in a blend of traditional beer can chicken seasonings, and not from actual beer, but still. Beer, 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 beer. We obviously can't forget to mention the sweet and crunchy tenders, which were tenders coated in shortbread cookie dough, adding a subtle sweetness to the salty treat. Or the buffalo ranch chicken tenders, marinated in the original seasonings and drilled with a spicy and creamy buffalo ranch sauce. No matter which ones you get, Popeye's chicken tenders are some of the best around. Reality or urban legend? No, oh, Homer, that's just an urban legend. The rumors slash unfounded claims surrounding what really goes into the chicken at fast food chains isn't anything new. For years now, countless urban legends have been going around, all having something to do with chains frying and serving customers something other than a piece of chicken. For Popeyes, it was all about fried rats. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. It all started with a claim that was made in 2016 by a family in Harlem saying there was a fried rat included in their bucket of chicken. Obviously, as soon as the images were shared on social media, they began spreading like wildfire. Messages of disgust were sent to Popeyes, who simply tried to reassure the panicked customers that the misshaped piece of chicken was probably just organ meat. However, this was seen more as an iteration of the very old urban legend known as the Kentucky Fried Rat by a lot of people. Whether this eerie piece of chicken was really a rat or simply a chicken kidney or lung, the chain still suffered from a lot of bad publicity following the social media explosion. But selling fried rats isn't the only thing Popeyes got accused of doing. Only a year later, in 2017, a fake news site began circulating a story about a Popeyes manager who had been lacing its chicken with cocaine in order to make the customers come back for more. Even though the news came from a satire site, it's not everyone who bothered to take that into account. How Popeyes Got Started Cool, it's just like the good old days. Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen has been one of the big players in the fast food industry ever since it was founded in 1972. This now worldwide sensation was started by 28-year-old Al Copeland. He introduced the New Orleans-style fried chicken built upon the rich Cajun and Creole flavor profiles, and the world just couldn't seem to get enough. Oh, so terribly, terribly addictive. Now, Popeye's wasn't such a huge success 
at first, but it didn't take long before people realized just how good the food was. The first location was opened in the suburb of Arabi in New Orleans, Louisiana, and thanks to its spicy chicken and buttermilk biscuits, business took off. And within the decade, Popeyes had over 500 locations in the country, had expanded beyond the borders, and franchised all over the world. Today, there are over 2,600 restaurants in the United States alone, and there's no sign of Popeyes slowing down its expansion. A parade of lawsuits. Frivolous lawsuits, you understand. Popeyes has seen some pretty weird and borderline ridiculous lawsuits. Like in November 2016, when an attorney from Mississippi, Paul Newton Jr., sued Popeyes after choking on a piece of chicken. Newton said he choked on the chicken because he was forced to eat it without utensils, and he had to have emergency surgery to remove it from his throat. He eventually dropped the suit due to how people received the news on social media, asking how he thought everyone else ate ate their fried chicken. A year later, it was a woman from Texas who decided to sue over a case of flesh-eating worms she had allegedly ingested after eating at the restaurant. They were eating her from the inside out, and she was asking for one million dollars in damages. They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! But science was apparently on the chain's side, as an expert from the entomology department of Purdue claimed nothing about this was biologically sound. And finally, when the release of the chicken sandwich took over the world in 2019, a man from Tennessee filed a lawsuit against Popeyes over time wasted after the chain had run out of sandwiches. For false advertising and deceptive business practices, he was seeking $5,000 in damages. Why there are no healthy options. Now come on, every second I'm out of bed I'm burning precious calories. In recent years, it's no secret that people have become more aware of the food they put into their bodies. This is why most fast food places have taken steps to offer some healthier options to customers who are looking to cut back on greasy food, like McDonald's with its salads or Taco Bell with its fresco tacos, for instance. However, Popeyes doesn't seem to want to jump on the bandwagon. Just because she jumped off the cliff, you're going to jump off the cliff? But why? Their idea of healthy menu options is anything under 350 calories, like a cinnamon apple pie, an order of two chicken chicken legs or a small order of red beans and rice. Even the corn on the cob will set you back an impressive amount of calories. Well, according to an interview with CEO Cheryl Batchelder, the reason why there aren't any more healthy options is simply that they don't work at Popeyes. They've tried in the past, but apparently it didn't sell well enough to be worth the investment. She said that people are eating a lot of baked and broiled chicken at home, and that we eat boring, healthy food at home, and we eat things like Popeyes when we go out to enjoy a special evening. Which, honestly, we kind of get. They were accused of animal cruelty. But seriously, cruelty to animals is no laughing matter. Of course, a chicken joint isn't going to be the most vegetarian-friendly restaurant out there. But just because Popeyes is a fast food place, it does not mean that it's not mindful of its suppliers' practices. The chain has claimed time and again that it makes it a point to source their chickens only from suppliers who are in compliance with the animal welfare guidelines established by the National Chicken Council. Despite repeating that they are constantly updating the guidelines, not everyone agreed. Popeyes was accused numerous times of cruel animal treatment and not being proactive enough in making sure their sourcing supply was cruelty-free. It wasn't until 2020 that the chain finally signed on to a set of animal welfare standards called the Better Chicken Commitment. Interesting. Joining tons of other big companies like Subway and Whole Foods. These new standards include suppliers who provide more living space, eliminate cages for broiler chickens, transition to chicken breeds with a better animal welfare outcome, and overall offer a better quality of life. Let's get ethical, ethical. Get more great videos? Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.